given figure. Now see, these are some of the figures which are very commonly asked in competitive exams and you are asked to find the total number of squares in these figures. So I am going to tell you a shortcut through which you will be able to count these squares without actually counting them. So this is going to help you a lot in competitions. Now see this is the first kind of figure in which the number of rows and the number of columns are same. So whenever we have the number of rows and columns same then things are very very simple. Now see in the bottom row we, you have only two squares here whereas in this figure you have one, two, three, four squares and four in the column also. So these are of the same type and once you know the problem is of this particular type then applying the shortcut will take you only two or three seconds to solve this question without counting the squares. Now how do you do this? You have to write the squares of these four numbers. See one square is one, two square is four, three square is nine and four square is 16. So just write the squares of all the numbers you have written in the bottom row and just add them. So 16 plus 9 is 25 plus 5 is 30. So that gives you your answer. The number of squares in this figure is 30. Likewise, if you have, now you can solve this very easily. 1, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4. So the total number of squares in this figure is 5. Very obvious, 1, 2, 3, 4 and the larger square that is the fifth square. Now see this case. In this case, the rows contain different number of squares as com compared to the column. So here the method slightly changes. Now I am going to tell you a shortcut through which you can find the number of squares in this figure also without actually counting the squares. Now in this case, once you write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so you have 6 squares in the bottom row. And if you start writing like this vertically, 1, 2, 3, 4, so you have 4. So just multiply these two numbers, you get 24. And now what you do is, you keep on reducing these two numbers by 1. So 6 becomes 5, 4 becomes 3, so this becomes 15. Keep on reducing this until you get a product 0. So 5 becomes 4, 3 becomes 2, 8. 3, 1, 3. So now if you do it one more time, this will become 2 but this will become 0. So no more further combinations are possible. So just add the numbers which are obtained here. This is 39, 49 and 50. So 30, 39 and 11, 50. So the total number of squares in this figure are 50. So friends, you have learned a trick through which you can find the number of squares in two kinds of figures. The first case where the number of squares in the columns and number of squares in the rows are equal. So you can apply the formula that you have to find the sum of the squares of the numbers written in the bottom row. And when the number of squares in vertical and horizontal columns are different, then just write the two numbers and multiply them and keep on reducing it by 1 and multiplying till you get a product 0 and then add all the products which you obtain you count the total number of squares as 50. So in this figure you see there are 3 squares inside one another. So whenever you have a figure like this one square with a vertical line and a horizontal line dividing the larger square into 4 parts 4 smaller squares then there are 1, 2, 3, 4 and the larger square that is 5 squares in all. So if we consider the inner square, the innermost square, so it is divided into 4 smaller squares. So for this shaded portion, you have 5 squares like this. So 5 squares for the shaded portion. Then if you Consider the next square which is the second one which is the intermediate between the outer and the inner square. Then again it is divided into four parts. So this is one, two, three and four squares and the larger square. So five more and finally we have the largest square again divided into 
four smaller squares by the horizontal and the vertical line so five more squares so you have 15 squares in total so you know don't need to actually count the squares just by looking at the figure you can tell how many squares are there in this figure likewise see we have one more figure here in which we have a number of smaller squares but if you again count the one two three four five six like this you are bound to miss some of the squares so you need to be aware of the shortcut method here so you just see the square which i am darkening right now this one so if you consider this this is a actually a three by three matrix so one two three and one two three so if you consider only this much the shaded portion then you need to know the shortcut for finding the number of squares contained in this 3 by 3 matrix so how do you find it this is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so whenever there are equal number of squares along the length and along the breadth then you have to just name one of the lines and just square them and add them so this will become 9 plus 4, 13 plus 1, 14 and you have 1, 2, 3, 4 squares left out. So plus 4, so in all you have 18 squares in this figure, the number of squares. Now this question is very prevalent in competitive exams and uh, students who know the trick to solve this question will do it in hardly 10 or 12 seconds time. But if you don't know the shortcut, then it is going to consume a lot of time. So let us try and understand this figure to count the total number of squares. Now see, whenever we have a larger square divided into horizontal and vertical lines, see here we have three horizontal lines and three vertical lines which are drawn in this figure. Then we have a definite number of squares along the length and definite number of squares along the breadth. Now see here we have four squares along the length and four squares along the breadth. So whenever there are equal number of squares along the length and breadth, then the problem is very simple. And this problem can be asked, suppose we don't have this first row, then in this figure also we can be asked to find the total number of squares. That will be a different method. So Consider this 4 by 4 matrix having these 16 squares. So if you count 1, 2, 3, 4 along the length or along the breadth because they are same, then the total number of squares in this large square is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square. So in turn, this will give you a total of say 16 plus 9 25 plus 4 29 plus 1 30 so there are 30 squares in the larger square when you consider only the horizontal and vertical lines but now we have lines along the diagonals also so see there are number of lines drawn like this and number of lines drawn like this so now you need to consider another square which is at 45 degree angle. Now I am marking the vertices of that square which I am considering now. So look at these four vertices which I have darkened right now. If you see this square like this, now again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. It is similar to the figure which is given originally given to you. So if you consider only this much then the squares which we are counting here which these squares we have not counted in these 30 squares. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So another figure of that kind. So that means we have to repeat this process and we have 30 more squares made of made from this square which uh, of which the vertices I have darkened right now. Now what are we left with? We are left with one square, this one. See we have not counted this either in the larger square or in the smaller square. 
So parallel to this we have this second square. We are not counted this also. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and similarly here seventh and eighth. So these eight we have not counted yet. So eight more, and still we are left with four more squares because if you combine this shaded area with these two squares, then we have one more square. See, and now I am shading the one which I am counting now. So this is the square which we have not counted. Similar to this, if you shade these two also, then you have this square here also, this square. And here also this square. So now we have four more squares. Now we have completed all the squares in this, and the resulting answer to this question is 72 squares. So students, you see, we need a little bit of understanding. Obviously, there is a trick when you have to find out the total number of triangles consisting. Uh, consisted in this larger square and made by the vertical and horizontal lines how to find those total number of squares 30 because if you keep on counting those 30 triangles you will lose a lot of time in given figures two more very important questions now this is the first question which i am taking up now see here you can see a large square which is divided by vertical lines and horizontal lines into a matrix of 4 by 4 See four small squares in the rows and four small squares along the breadth. So there are actually 16 small squares in the large square. That is if you don't consider this one. So we are not considering these four squares right now. We are just considering only four by four matrix which is in the larger square. So what happens when we have such a matrix? We can easily count the total number of squares in such a matrix by just counting the number of squares along the row and taking their squares. So 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16 and we add all the squares to get the total number of squares in the matrix. So this is 25 plus 5, 30. So we have 30 squares in the large matrix but now this is incomplete now we have to consider the small square now if you see the small square this is one square and inside it you find one two three four four squares so whenever a small square is divided into four parts there are five squares so five squares here similarly one two three four and five squares here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 squares here and 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 squares here. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So we have 30 plus 20 more squares. So which gives us a total of 50 squares in this figure. So I hope you have understood that 50 squares in this figure. Now take this figure. Here also we have the same kind of matrix. So let us count the number of squares in this matrix first. See here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 squares along the length and 1, 2, 3 squares along the breadth. So whenever we have different number of squares along the length and breadth then the process changes. Here we have taken the squares of the numbers because the number of squares along the length and breadth were same but here they are different so what we do is this is a 4 by 3 matrix so 4 into 3 then reduce this by 1 reduce this by 1 3 into 2 then again reduce this by 1 and reduce this by 1 2 into 1 now we cannot reduce it further because this will become 0 so add all these products this will become 12 plus 6 plus 2. So 12 plus 6, 18 plus 2, 20. So we have 20 squares in this large matrix. Now what about remaining squares? Now see if you observe carefully, we have one square 
whose vertices I am just marking. Now see this is one square, a large square and this is another square and this is another square. Apart from these three squares, the one larger one and two small ones, there are no other squares which are left uncounted. All the horizontal and vertical lines have already been counted. So these 12 and these squares all are already taken account of in this 20 squares. So only these two small squares and one large square remains. So gives us three more squares. So add three to this, you get your final answer for this question. That is 23 squares in this figure. So friends, I hope you have understood the basic process through which we are counting the squares because traditional method uh, will consume a lot of time and also give you a uh, rough estimate only. Having an exact estimate requires the use of these kind of shortcuts to come out successfully in competitive exams. So I hope you like the video and if you do, share it and subscribe the channel.